Style Magazine here with Spencer the Kingfisher. Post fight uh, UFC on FX4. How are you feeling? Uh, it might be a bad question to start this off. I, I, I am uh, excited and disappointed all at the same time. You know, uh, coming off a loss, but I thought I'd put on a pretty good fight. And, uh, it's just sad to say goodbye to this point. That's, that's where my next question led. You talked about the possibility this may be your last fight of your career. If that's the case, take a second, take a look back at your career, and just give me the most memorable, the most positive thought you have in your time spent in the Octagon. Just like... Oh, well, he has me right now. Uh, you know, everybody said I, I took a uh, loss a step, and uh, tonight I thought that I showed that I could still fight with the, the most elite kickboxers in the division and win. And I thought I, I did just that. I am not a wrestler, and uh, it showed again, and that's what, you know, it's my kryptonite. Yeah. If you could choose one fight from your career, every MMA fan should see, what's the one fight you kind of hang your hat on? Is there one? I mean, there's been yeah. so many. Yeah, there's been so many. Uh, in the UFC, the Sam Stout fight, for sure. Uh, all and and uh, Three now. <laughs> and uh, if you were going to say my best fight ever, it would be the fight with me and Josh Neer. That was a five, five minute round fight. close your career, if you could have fought anyone you didn't fight, in any way, not just like simply speaking, would it be a heavyweight, a lightweight, is there any guy like, man, through the same weight, I would love to test my skills against this guy? There yeah, a there, guy yeah, there's a lot of those guys. <laughs> um, a few that come to yeah, top of Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think for a good fight for me, in uh, the 45 division, I think it would be Elena Garcia, who we were supposed to fight at one time, and it kind of got bumped around, but that guy yeah, brings it, and that the fire, fireworks <laughs> also. Uh, in, the, in the heavyweight division, uh, man, Cain Velasquez is a monster, you know, and I think he's fast, and explosive, and that'd be the guy I'd like to fight a heavyweight if, you know, if I put on a couple of pounds. <laughs> Just a few, right? <laughs> so, I'm sure you've done a bunch of interviews, you're going to be doing a bunch more as, you know, the news comes out, obviously, that you, you might be hanging up the gloves. What's the one question in an interview that you've never been asked? Is there any topic or anything that just hasn't been covered? I'm sure you get the same questions over and over. Is there any one thing that just hasn't been covered that you're like, hey, I wish someone knew this about me, you know what I mean? I, I'm into uh, aliens. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying it's alien, but it's alien. <laughs> <laughs> I get just I like uh, sci-fi stuff and then uh, like movie stuff like that. I'm a big hunter. I love hunting. Yeah. I think people know about me and the documentary that I have. Do you believe aliens in the fact of like actual aliens or just more like the sci-fi side of like movies? Oh, I actually, uh, I believe in, uh, yeah, I, I kind of, I think, uh, my wife hates when I say that, but I, I'm, <laughs> on the, I'm on the all the ancient alien shows and oh, yeah. uh, past civilizations and all that kind of stuff. That's awesome. I'm kind of dwarf when it comes to it. That is awesome. So, who are the people that inspire you most, whether it be personally or professionally? Is there like one or two people that come to mind right away that inspire you? Uh, like, yeah, it, 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 in my, my family, uh, father raised my, my sister my dad, my mother died and uh, the guy just had a no quit attitude and took on everything took on 10 kids and then my sisters and myself so raised us and uh, just you know, his attitude on life was just nothing was too big to overcome and I really uh, admire him for that and uh, the work ethic that man had just the second to none so that's my grandfather. If you were a professional mixed martial artist what, what do you think, where, where would life have led you as far as like career, profession? Probably panhandling. No, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I like to be a, a professional uh, guy, a hunting guy. You know, I, like, I like the outdoors, uh, and I enjoy that stuff. So probably something like that. Is that something you like, would pursue now? Yes, I've that thought about it. You know, nice. I'm trying to get in and involved with people. Nice, that's awesome. So, uh, we're going to touch on pro wrestling a little bit, of course. Oh, yeah. You know, Rip Flair, I'm, I'm, fan. I'm a fan. I know you're a fan. Woo! <laughs> you, you just took the answer to my one question. <laughs> Rick Flair is by far the best entertainer you can sell. Look at this, look at this. I actually was going to ask you if you could give me your best Rick Flair move, and you already did. Look at that. I love the guy. That, love that, is, that is an interview right there. Yeah, yeah Rick Flair, uh, <laughs> I remember I seen him as a kid. Asheville, North Carolina, my mom's take us to watch the events, and uh, I had a, uh, you know, Sting, is remember Sting? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a Sting shirt, and my mom saw me get the scrum, say something, so I went up, I said, Mr. Flay, my favorite wrestler, I had a Sting shirt, and I said, I bet I am. So, and I met him, and I seen him uh, later on, uh, and as an adult, after been fighting the UFC, and uh, I just, I, I can't talk because my knees were shaking. That so. is awesome, that is awesome. So being such a huge pro wrestling fan, Love can you talk about the showmanship side of pro wrestling that maybe you've kind of brought into the Atheon in some ways, other yeah. than the movement. Yeah, like yeah, I, I just 
try to, uh, you know, a matter of fact, this is funny because uh, a couple of my fights, I've hit people rude. I've always wanted to cover up and talk somebody into it. That's been my dream. It never happened, but I, I, I have done those antics. I've, I've, I've dried on people in green. I've wooed and, and, and smacked up the Rick James match. Uh, <laughs> End of the third round that I used to just end it. Yes, I mean, I've been, I, I, I've been <laughs> legendary, but I was on my back. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I tried a couple of times to do something, but True. Not so, again, the pro wrestling line. Speaking of pro wrestling, what are your thoughts the guys that maybe made the move from pro wrestling to MMA, whether it be Lesnar, Lashley, those guys, or even the guys that went from MMA or from the early days, whether it be Severn, and those guys that kind of went back and forth. What are your thoughts on, on that whole? I, I think, uh, I, you know, as far as sports entertainment, uh, Brock Lesnar is by far the guy. And he's made how many guys that are 300 pounds and he backs himself that He truly is something special, and uh, the guy can fight. Last fight. How do you want to be remembered by fans and just people in MMA in general? How do you want to be remembered? Like a sentence or two? How yeah, you, how does, how I want to be remembered. I always remember as the guy who left his heart in the middle of the cage. You know, I, I try to always go on and not just fight for myself, but I want to fight for just people that buy that ticket. I want them to feel like they got the money's worth. You know, I try to always bring that. You know, you see, I'll never see a once once a year. I know. Is this your first interview for this fight? Uh, I did one there. Oh, of course it was shit. You know? And that's what they grabbed me. But again, I, I appreciate the time. Thank you so much. And on behalf of MMA, thank you. Not so much Joe Rogan, but on behalf of MMA, thank you so much. I've been a fan and I've been around and watching you. Thank you. Do you want to say that for me, son? Yeah, it's just thanks, thanks to everybody who's always supported me. There's too many people in the name. Uh, but thank you for everybody all this time. Thanks. Awesome. Tony Reed, Rattling the Cage, Tap Out Magazine, Spencer Fisher. Signing off.